I'm in the middle of my first NFT project, the launch, the plan, the overall, the whole thing. Like I'm, I'm preparing everything right now. And these moments are some of my favorites of my life. There have been not many times where I'm so embedded into what I'm trying to accomplish that, I don't like Jimmy Neutron, well, the old dad version. Um, but it, it's, it, it's such a wonderful mind space to be in when, when you're, when you're visualizing, you know, literally a hundred different things and problem solving for each one of those hundred and, and gathering Intel and, and then getting the information and, and then converting that to consumerism and to consumer interest and client interest and, like all the different hats you have to wear through the hundred steps to make sure that you are thinking of all of these different things as you're coming out with your initial launch. And I'm not just talking about my launch, my, you know, the website, the NFTs and all that. I'm talking about anything that you're doing that comes from that creative space. I mean, I never thought I was an entrepreneur but this is an entrepreneurial moment, and I've had a lot of those in my life. They've just all been driven by my core business, mostly uh, with quality title, quality title. So I, it's just, it's my favorite. Like, I, I love it. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's it, I love doing storyboards. So, you know, one of them is like the overall view, like kind of what I'm talking about. My hundred branches wearing my hundred hats. You know, understanding how I'm going to do it. And then it gets specific to the actual execution. And one of the biggest things that I come back to in my mind to keep me on track is it needs to be good enough to present. But I don't have to do absolutely everything that I envision. I have to also, while I'm creating something, I call it my volumes. So this is... This is quality NFT volume one. But the whole time, there's even a, a list and a notebook and a set for my volume two. But so, so it's urgent. It, it's critical to get, get it launched. Get your volume one out there. Make sure that it has no major holes, no major kinks, and... and and make sure that it's 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 presentable because it is your first impression. It's it's your first launch. But then in volume two, you really can't execute it as well for me until I see how volume one operates. I don't know what volume worm is, but until volume one is actually operating, until I see some of the pitfalls or something that I didn't anticipate, or I'm putting or I bottlenecks, and then that's when volume two comes. And then honestly, it's just like, that's why they say like 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, you know, volume one point, this is 1.0. So there might be, and will be a lot of tweaks. There could be volume up to like 1.25 until this major something becomes essentially the birth and beginning of volume two. So I could go on and on and on, but I just wanted to capture this because this creative, the creative to execution moment, you know, the fact that I'm, I'm like pushing my brain so hard as if doing reps, but you know, in the gym, but in my head, like I have to stop, I have to take deep breaths. Sometimes I have to do some physical labor, you know, take a walk in the yard real quick, grab some water, maybe take a couple of Advil, but this isn't stress. This is, this is the intensity and the culmination of seeing something brought to fruition. It's the idea that becomes the action, the platform, the attention, the, the whole thing. And, and it's, it's just, it's rare when you, when I get something this big, this profound, this exciting, and the best part is, one of the coolest, no, one of the interesting parts is, 
It is the absolute application of everything I've done up to this moment. It's projects that have succeeded, projects that have failed, methods and methodologies that sometimes have worked, but I could have done it better. It, it's understanding people and, and understanding, you know, relying on others to get you what you need. It's, it's knowing when to do it yourself and when to have someone help you do it or someone do it entirely for you with your plan, with your blueprint in hand. But that's what makes this so exciting is this, it, it's the evolution too. It is not just, this is my first run. I've been doing this for 25 years in some form or another. And I see more precision. I see more clarity. And this is just the beginning of this specific set of volumes.